Okay, recording. So we'll make this anonymous so nobody knows it's you. Right, you just lift up for me. So this young lady had a really cheeky lesion, sub third MTPJ. Okay, so it was literally about there, wasn't it? So sub, sub three. You can see this young lady's got a bit of a propensity to develop callus, but she had a bloody awful lesion there. So we did a we did a Schweil osteotomy on it. Eagle eye viewers will note a little scar there. That was an old neuroma we did about how many years ago? Was that ten years ago? Fifteen. Fifteen. But also had a I'm going to say an old money drop metatarsal head. Okay, there's no such thing. So we did a Schweil osteotomy. Now if you put your foot flat, so we did on the top of the foot. So that was the incision. So we went in. Now we talked in different videos. I'm just going to move this back. We've talked in different videos about the relaxed skin tension lines, which go across. So that's the, the lines of cleavage or the lines of cox. And then this, going this way, is what we refer to as the line of maximal extensibility. So if you can cut within those lines, you'll get the best scar. Now, you can't always do that. So we've had to go up down a ways, because if you go across, you go across all the tubes. So we went into the knuckle, lifted the metatarsal up in a Westlife style. If you know that's where you raise you up, isn't it? I was getting those two mixed up. Now, she's developed a bit of a retraction, a bit of a hypertrophic scar. You've had two shots of cortisol now, and that's gone from being a really sticky uppity toe to it's now got some flexibility and just about, just about sits flat. But as a revision procedure, we would do a Z-plasty. So what we would do is we would come and we'd do a long cut along the length of the scar, and then a 60 degree cut there, 60 degree cut there, and then you'd go through, you might need to do, that all feels like skin, I don't think that's the tendon, and then you'll take that flap and rotate up to there, so that one goes to there, and this one comes to here, I'll do that as a, as a kind of a separate bit on this video, but literally those two flaps cross over each other and allow that skin to then stretch by about about 60% and brings it down. So about a year ago, I thought for this lady, we would be doing a bit of a skin surgery. But two cortisols has achieved, I think we've got it about 75% better now. And I think I've got the option to do one more shot, loosen it up, or skin surgery. But that's, that's the, I just want to do a little vid for the guys because, um, I haven't got one of these. Z, Z plastic videos. Right, thank you for that, Chucky Egg. I'll stop there. Here's my go-to book, Crawford and Dockery, Skin and Cutaneous Surgery. This is chapter 16. And they'll tell you everything you want to know and more about the Z um, and Z and W plasty, actually, and their options. It's it's an amazing book. It's very much, it's my Bible and makes me realise how much I don't know about skin surgery. Okay, my lady's gone, so let's try that on a skin pad. So I was teaching in suturing last weekend, <laughs> these are not my sutures. So if we've got our contracture there, now I've just had a little look in Dockery's book and realised why he wrote the book on it, because he's an absolute genius. And there are actually quite a few variances. I did a little bit of a YouTube look and they reckon if you get like a 60 degree Cut. That'll be about 60 degrees ish. That you get about a 75% increase in length. But if we can imagine that we're going to cut down the contracture there, I'm just going to do this quickly because my next patient's coming in any minute now. Okay, we start from the tip, go that way. So excuse, excuse quick technique for raising the flap. Obviously, when we raise the flap. We want to raise all that vascular supply as well. So there's our first flap, and there's our second. We'll be a little bit more gentle with the patients, obviously. Making sure though, and we could talk about random cutaneous uh, skin flaps. So effectively, when you then stretch that down a ways, then that's gonna to go to there. And let's see if I can do this for the camera, get my fat fingers out of the way. And that's going to go to there and that's going to close. I might actually try and throw a couple of sutures in that just to, to show you what that looks like. But you get the idea, I hope. Look, I've got a bloody skin marker on my fingers now. So that's going to, as that contracts down. Oh, actually, if I do that, you can sort of see, actually, I'll just pull that up a little bit. 
you can sort of see how it wants to, if you've then taken out the contracture, that also almost wants to go left and right with my fat fingers. This is where you need your very own glamorous assistant. But again, if you see that stretching down, you can see how that stretches down, it wants to go across like that. Do you know what? I'll put a couple of stitches in that just to see a final result. And I'm gonna have purple fingers for the rest of the bloody day. So super roughly, just putting a couple of stitches in, and these pads don't really approximate the real tissue, but you imagine I'd stretch that down and you can kind of see how they'd come together. I've just put a couple of, and they're known as crappy knots. I don't know if anybody's ever seen knots like that before, but you can see, you know, it kind of closes as I said, and those two legs cross over. Um, so that lady, she's probably gonna have uh, cortisone chart, she's going to be okay, but you know what, actually, I think I'm going to talk her into surgery just so I can demonstrate it, because you can't do it on these bloody pads. So yeah, do you know what, I'm going to cancel her injection appointment and do surgery just for you guys. But you get the idea, see plasty. But if you really want to look at it, some other good YouTube videos, a little bit more professional than this bloody thing. And of course, Dockery's book, Dockery and Crawford, My Absolute Legends. Okay, hold that thought. So I found a little video online. I've had this video for a little while, so I'm just going to um, copy and paste and stick it in. I hate to do this. Apologies to the original author. I don't know where it's from. I think I probably accidentally downloaded it from YouTube. I think it's fair game to do little clips and copies and drops and paste. So this is a little movie file that shows it a little bit more clearly. But um, yeah, Z-Plasty, super useful technique. elongate this contracted scar, incision is made along it, then two 60 degree incisions are made. As the flaps are lifted up and transposed, what was originally the short axis of the scar has now been lengthened at the expense of a decrease in the width dimension. 